but I remember being there at, the, at this um, ceremony. I was a little bit older at that time, and I was about 13 or 14 years old. And I remember, you know, hearing the songs that day, and the hair stood up on my arms, and like I started feeling like the, the spirit of the songs, and it was just, it was a powerful moment. Right then, I, I decided I wanted to be a singer, you know? Like, I was like, oh, this is what I want to do. This is, this is who I am. I, I realized early on that I was a little bit different. Going to school and going to a predominantly Eurocentric education and all white schools. And <clears throat> realized early on that, you know, I was one of the only, you know, people of color. But I, I guess I didn't really start to embrace my cultures until I got older. Um, my dad's black. My mom is a Pomo, um, Dry Creek um, Band of Pomo. My process of learning that, uh, learning the songs and, and, and learning those traditions has been, you know, a long process. Through like thumbing through my dad's records and my mom's records, you know, uh, I was always inspired by music. You know, like my 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 first love was probably the record player. <laughs> you know, <laughs> dad was a he was a jazz musician, so you know I'm digging through his vinyl. He he had stuff from like the 50s and 60s, a lot of bebop, a lot of like Sonny Rollins and you know Dizzy Gillespie. After I graduated high school and I, I turned uh, 21, I made the decision to become sober, and that decision really opened me up to my dreams, which is which is the biggest thing that I remember is that I had started having these really vivid dreams and you know ancestors. Were, would come and just talk to me or share messages with me and show me things and and um you know like kind of like this is your path music keep following this path they, they would like literally show me and like and i was like okay i'm listening but i remember having those really vivid dreams was was really impactful i remember during that time my music started to shift from more from more like this is just a creative like party kind of vibe like no this this music has meaning this has purpose my sobriety i think that that was a really big turning point for my for me like accepting more parts of my identity I really started practicing my culture more I started dancing traditional dancing when I traveled to somewhere like Europe you know I was like creator why are you sending me to the colonizer place you know <laughs> you know Europe is hella diverse it really opened up my my eyes and, the, and then also the, the European folks that we met they had their culture you know they have their language they had their you know like the, the traditional foods they have their they have their culture intact. And it kind of really woke me up to like, oh, okay, like, these people are a lot different than the Americans, <laughs> you know? And it also helped me to really, I think, get get over a lot of the racism that, that I internalized and the, the stuff that I felt and, and it helped me to, 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 to realize like music is powerful. It can it can touch people from various cultures and and it helped me to get, get, get through that, get through that time of like hating others because of how they looked the land and the water, you know, has a really powerful uh, way to heal. Whenever I have questions or doubts with, with, within my work or within myself, I go to the fire. You know, I light the fire, you know, and, I, and, I, and I'm with the land and, and I, you know, do my prayers and offer my medicines and, and, and I watch the fire and meditate and think about that issue or whatever I'm feeling or whatever I'm going through and um, release it there. What's a piece of advice that you give to your past self, your future self, and then your your current self? I would say don't listen to myself, especially those parts of yourself where you're doubting, you know? Um, because I feel like if, if, if I were to, to to talk to my past self, my past self would be would be like rebellious and would be like, I'm not listening to you, you know? <laughs> but if you do listen to yourself, um, I would probably I would probably just say you know have faith you know have faith in community. Other people do get inspired and uh, and our and our relatives are praying for us and there's people out there that that really want to see you thrive. You know the whole world is conspiring to see to see you thrive. That's what I would tell my tell my past self is is you know just to keep going and to just to have faith. <laughs>